Hi, today we'll show you how to use multiple fidgets in your programs. We'll be using the DCC1000 along with this DC motor and the HIN1100 thumbstick fidget. Our goal will be to send velocity commands to the motor based on the position of the thumbstick. We'll start out with a new C project. The first thing we'll do is define two voltage ratio input handles, one for each joystick axis. We'll also define one DC motor handle. Next, we can call create to instantiate the objects. Now we can address the joystick axes. We covered how to address your fidgets in a previous video. Because there's only one DC motor connected to our computer, the library will automatically find it. Therefore, no addressing is required. Now that we've addressed them, we'll add attach and data event handlers. Let's start with attach handlers. We'll add an attach handler for each object. To start, they'll all reference the same handler. We can also add the open calls now. Finally, We'll add a piece of code that'll wait on user input before closing the program. Let's now create the attach handler that the channels are referencing. I copied this code from one of our C examples, now we just need to modify it. Because the attach handler will be called for each channel, we need a way to identify which ones we're dealing with. We can use the following functions to help us out. We'll first call fidget get device ID. This will give us the device ID of the fidget that's been attached. We can also call fidget get channel. This will allow us to differentiate between the voltage ratio input channels, which have the same device ID. If the device ID is equal to HIN 1100, we know that one of those channels have been attached. We can now use the channel information to differentiate between the two axes. The attach handler is where you should be configuring your channel, so we'll add some configuration code here now. If the device ID is equal to DCC 1000, we know that our motor channel has been attached. If we now run this program, you can see that we got attach events for all the channels. Now we'll show you how to use separate attach handlers for all the channels. For this step, we'll modify our code so that each channel has its own attach handler. Now that each channel has its own attach handler, we don't have to worry about determining which channel has been attached. However, we have to add some configuration code for each handler, meaning we'll have duplicate code. Generally, a mix of shared and separate handlers is useful. If we now run the program, you can see that we get attach events for all the channels. Before moving on, we should note that both detach and error event handlers can be used in a similar fashion. The next step will be adding data event handlers. Each channel class has its own unique set of data events, so we'll need to use separate handlers for DC motor events and voltage ratio input events. Here, we'll create a shared handler for the joystick axes and a handler for the DC motor velocity update event. Similar to the attach handler, We've copied event code from the C examples, so I simply need to modify them for our program. We'll use the channel information again to determine which joystick axis we're receiving data for. We'll only be looking at channel 0 data, so we can ignore the other channel for now. Here we're taking data directly from the joystick and using it to set a target velocity for the DC motor. In order to do this, we need to reference the DC motor handle that we created earlier. We'll move the handle from our main function to the top of our program in order to make it global. We could have also used the context pointer in order to pass the DC motor handle to our event handler. In the DC motor velocity update handler, we'll simply stream information about the motor's current velocity to the console. Now that we finish writing the code, we can run the program. If I move the thumbstick, you can see that it's dictating the motor's velocity. You can also see that our event handler for the motor is working as expected. Thanks for watching this video on how to use multiple fidgets in your programs. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about anything we've discussed in this video, please visit our website.